Okay, so we, here we have uh, the Infinity Galaxy puzzle that is made by a nervous system. Uh, and read, read what it says here just in case it doesn't show up on camera. So it says, inspired by the Mobius strip, this two-sided puzzle tiles continuously across, across both sides and assembles in thousands of different ways. Okay, so this puzzle was inspired by the Mobius strip. Um, so I want you to demonstrate what are some Mobius strip-like qualities of this puzzle. Well, it kind of only has one side. So if you take a piece out on the edge, even does come out. There we go. So okay. it goes here, but if you flip it flip it over and like put it like this and slide it over to the other edge it will also fit here if I put it in. Okay. So this demonstrates uh, one thing that we saw in the Mobius strip that if you sort of go down to this edge and flip you end up back over here. But there's more going on here. Well, it goes forever in both directions, or I guess in all directions. Okay, so what happens, say, if we took out this piece here? So this piece... Is it coming out? Okay, so where does... what, what does this piece do? What should you do so with this piece? You flip it upside down. Oops, sorry. Okay, I dropped it, and it's, and it's yeah. black, so to see. You flip it upside down, and then what? And you can slide it over here. And it goes in that. Yeah. Goes in there. Okay. So my question to you, they didn't say this was a Mobius strip. They said it was inspired by a Mobius mm -hmm. strip. It's not going to be a Mobius strip. Okay. Why? Well, because you can go forever in one direction. Like you can just say that you want to take pieces off of this side and put them on this side. You can do that forever. It's just going to keep going to the left. Okay. Although it's going to repeat itself. Right, it you will repeat. You'll get this image again. But we saw that property here. You could, if you just kept walking one way, and, and then you ended up flipped mm -hmm. back on the other side, and then you flip again and flip again. Yeah. So we saw that property on the Mobius strip. Yep. Okay. So, it's, well, another property is that it's just, this puzzle is just completely flat. Uh-huh. Um, that you can, it's not... The edges are not connected, but... They're not connected, but it's it's flat. Yep. Yeah, it's flat, but we said the Mobius strip was flat, mm -hmm. too. It's also really not complete. What in do you a, mean in by a that? sense, like... There's no... There's no well, edge to it. That's... And, well, the Mobius strip, you can only go... Two directions, so you can only go, like, left or right. Uh -huh. but in this puzzle, you can go up or down as well. Aha! Uh -huh. And you flip the same way. So... Unlike on a Mobius strip, where you actually going up and down this way, you didn't That's normal. produce a flip. On this one, it does produce a flip going both directions. And I'm going to try to demonstrate that. It's not super easy to see because the edges are, the way, we, the way I built it, it was, it's black on both mm -hmm. sides. So... That unfortunately obscures this point just a little bit, but if I take two pieces of glass... So one, we saw, like going up this way, you'll see, you'll see that this brown bit is actually over here when I flip upside down. So when I flip it, it's mm -hmm. going to come over here, but you'll see, sorry, the brown bit's here. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's a flip going this way. But we also demonstrated with a piece, taking it out, flipping it, and moving it over here, that left to right, it also flips. Hmm. Okay, so this actually flips in both directions. The sort of X direction and the Y direction. Yeah. And that is something different than a Mobius strip. And in fact, what that is is revealed on the back here. So, can you read those words, starting there with topologically? So, topologically, this puzzle maps to a real projective plane, an impossible 3D shape where the inside and the outside are mathematically distinguishable. The puzzle tiles with a flip, pieces from one side attached to the other, 
but only after flipping over. Just like the projective plane surface has no inside or outside, the puzzle has no up or down side, making it extra challenging. So hopefully that shows up, but if not, that's all right. So it's called a projective plane. Okay, so now we're going to learn a little bit more about the projective plane.